All right, last time on the uh, tutorials here, we learned how to make a rectangle around your current uh, object of interest, perhaps. Whatever icon you're, or sprite you're hovering over gets a nice little square drawn around it, an outline of a square. So today we're going to see if we can't, or can rather, uh, make stuff happen when we left click on those. Because right now nothing happens and it's pretty boring. So, we're going to go into our code here, and then under the rock, and then after the uh, position check of the mouse, um, and after drawing the rectangle, we're going to hit, click there, hit enter, and then we're going to run another if statement. And this one's going to be checking if the mouse button is clicked. So, for that, there's a function called if, and then the, there's a, the function is called mouse underscore check button and we're gonna do one called released because you can and we'll just do pressed released is whenever they release the mouse button and are hovering over the sprite um, but pressed is just as soon as they press the mouse button something will happen and for this, we just need a variable, a uh, preset variable, telling us which button to press. And I'm going to go ahead and set it up for the left click. Uh, don't need a semicolon there, because that's an if statement. And we need to continue the if statement to tell it the then part. So if this happens, then run this. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is, just for now, we're going to be setting a variable. Uh, to, to make a variable in GameMaker, all you have to do is type some text. Or really anything, I'm actually going to be calling this variable text. Um, but you, you can have a variable, like, if you want uh, health points, you can... There's actually a preset variable for health. Uh, but if you wanted it to be different, type capital H, E L T H, or just H P. That's usually what I use because it's simple, short, descriptive. But I'm going to be naming this variable text, and that's all you have to do is just type some words. Um, and this is going to be a variable that actually has actual text in it. But if you type text or if you type rock or anything that is actually going to be making GameMaker look for a variable that is named that. So, to make text, we need quotation marks. So put a quote, and then type your text, and then put an end quote, which is just a quote, but put it at the end of the word. And then we do a semicolon to uh, let it know that the command is over. So we're setting a variable equal to rock. All right. And we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that for um, all three of these. Right there. Scroll down. Right there. Alright. Obviously, we're going to have to change the names. Scissors. And this one here is paper. Okay. Okay. Now, at the bottom of all this stuff, after all of that, we're going to have to draw the text. So, we're going to do a function called draw. Actually, we're going to, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so draw text, draw underscore text, rather, and then parenthesis, uh, you need an X coordinate, so for the X, we'll just put 100, so that it'll be 100 pixels over from the current X location. Well, no, not from the current location. It'll be 100 pixels over from the edge of the screen, or edge of the window, the game window. Okay, and then for the Y, we're going to put, and yeah, we'll just put Y. Same Y. And string, we, oh, right. String, we had a variable, so we just type in text without quotation marks, and that will tell it to uh, just make the 
the stream. Or, yeah. It'll tell it to put whatever whatever text the variable is equal to, it'll draw that out. Now, if we did this and text had a number in it without quotation marks, it, it'll fail because this needs to be a string type variable. And the only string type variables are quotation marks. So you need to have quotation marks around that. You can have a number, but it need but only if it's inside of quotation marks. There is another way of making numbers appear without doing that, but you'll have to use another function called uh I think it's called no, it's not called get string. I think it's just str. Yeah. So actually you just type string and then inside the parentheses you put the variable that has your number in it or just your number or whatever you can actually do like functions like if you had HP and you wanted to add 3 to it you could do that if HP was a number but string the string function converts uh, a number into the numerical string version of it so but for now we just need to type text and that's that's all because we have a variable and it is a string type variable. So go ahead and click the check mark. Come over here and you click the green arrow. And we get a fatal error. I must have done something wrong. Choose draw. Oh, right. I forgot. We have a variable, but if we haven't left clicked on anything yet. That variable has no, has no, uh, it's got no value, but it's going to still be trying to draw value from it, which is what results in the error. Because right now, at the start of the game, it's going to go ahead and do this function and get to this part and be like, hmm, text. I haven't been told what text means yet, so I don't know what to do with that. I'm going to crash. So what we need to do is add another event, uh, a create event, so that as soon as this object is created by Game Maker in the game, uh, we're gonna come over here, hit the control tab, and then click this thing, and bring over uh, the text, add some text into this create event, and we're going to tell it that text will equal select something or select one I think is more common so yeah we'll do that and then a semicolon to end it so now we have told game maker that it does have a value it's just not rock paper or scissors so now when we left click on one of the icons as you can see the text says select one so if we left click on one of these it will recognize that we have left click one and it will change the variable and draw out what what we're clicking and i think that looks good all right so that's gonna go ahead and be it for for this tutorial and i i'll see you next time all right bye bye